Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Mox's IP surveillance products. In our setup, we've used a V-Port 461 encoder with a standard analog camera. First of all, let's take a brief look at the surveillance software. The main monitoring screen can be set up from 1 to 64 video channels. Right-clicking a video feed provides options like two-way audio, full screen mode, or a snapshot of the screen. Let's take a look at the file created from the snapshot. The file is a standard JPEG which will be opened up in Windows Photo Viewer. To add a video feed, click the configuration icon. Click on the search button to discover cameras and vports on the network. Select the feed and connect. If I had multiple cameras on the system, I would just click add and make it available in the device list. Now I'd like to set up the schedule or events to record the video to my computer's hard drive. I'll select from 8 to 5 on Tuesday and add it to the list. Since today is Tuesday, you'll notice this feed is currently being recorded. The video server includes a playback application that enables a user to search back through time for stored video. I've got some recordings from September 13th that we can view. I'll move the slider to about 140 and you'll see the captured video of a clock. Moxa products that have Ethernet ports are configured through an onboard web interface. The setting details are in the manual, so I won't go through those in this video. The network settings can be DHCP or static, and the video streams can be configured individually. Now I'll show you how to connect to the video streams. The first window is stream number one, and the second is stream number two. Notice that I have the resolution set to different values on the two streams. Moxa provides a software development kit for programmers to incorporate the camera functionality into their own applications. This is a sample that is included in the kit. I'll change the IP address to match my system and then connect. This is another sample in the kit. It's a web page that displays the video feed. The code can just be changed and add it to your own website. The last thing I'd like to show you is how simple it is to view the video stream from a portable device like a cell phone. I'm using an app from Microsoft called Streaming Player. I just add the URL, push connect, and the video appears. Thank you for viewing this video brought to you by Allied Automation. Allied has been providing solutions for industry since 1981.